fill it up to the brim. We're playing with sand. So engineering is fun. Okay, this is full already. Okay, so what I'm going to do is Empowering leadership. Oh, yeah, empowering. <laughs> oh. Developing the leaders within you. Oh. <laughs> wow, can stand. Anybody else got book to read? <laughs> Magic, huh? Eh? Can you have it there? Anybody got a book? Pass, pass some book, bounce, pass. <laughs> Uh, two six units here, Adelaide. <laughs> wow. wow. Not bad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you just put paper, right? <laughs> you just put paper. Power of Babel. Oh. by way. Yeah, it reinforces the concrete. 
Similarly, actually, this concept is now applied to soil. Soil is strong in compression, not as strong as concrete, but stronger in compression, very weak in tension. And steel or geosynthetic or even paper is stronger in than south strength, but very weak in compression. So you combine these two materials, you know, have a composite material called reinforced soil. So that's the basic concept of reinforced soil, basic definition. But of course, calculation and all that, uh, you need to know your mathematics to go in order to do your calculation. But the concept is very simple. It's a shear box test without any reinforcement. This is a shearing force, horizontal direction to shearing. And the calculation is that the shearing resistance is PV. PV is a normal force multiplied the angle of friction and this is a hot. Now when you test it, The red, the red thing is a reinforcement. So when you introduce the reinforcement inside, the, the resisting wall is much more. Just now, without the reinforcement, it's easy to identify. Now, because of this new reinforcement, which is, uh, has a general R, if you resolve in horizontal direction, it's not